Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Better Biomed. Today, we're gonna to take a look at another item that you find in surgical centers all over the place. A lot of people just don't know very much about. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the cardio quips. So this is a 1000M cardio quip. It's a portable heater cooler, or more appropriately, this is a heater that has a ice bath. So what you see on top of this, this is one of the variants. This is a large Peltier style cooler that sits in the water bath. A Peltier cooler is an item that gets cold at one side of the device and warm at the other side. So you can hear that there's actually fans emitting the heat from the other side of the Peltier cooler. The advantage of a Peltier cooler is that you don't require a compressor. It's kind of a passive device. You have a very large external power supply, which powers the thing, which is also kind of a, a negative on this item. It's because there's more cords and more garbage floating around. And stuff like that happens, just floating around. But back to the, the heater cooler. There's three different variants of this. You'll see a cardio equip like this with a Peltier cooler. There's the versions that just have a lid and they just use it as an ice bath. And then there's the versions that have a large contraption that sits on top, which is an actual compressor. So this version has got the, Pelt the Peltier cooler and it's very plain Jane, very easy to understand. So let's take a look at what makes this guy tick. Now, it looks like it's a cluster of stuff inside here, but I promise you it's really not that bad. You have your lines that come in and your lines that go out to the patient or to whatever else you're trying to heat or cool. Uh, let's see, I always start with the pump and that shows you which lines go out. So down here is your output. It goes out to the field and this one here comes in. But I said that this guy doesn't just cool, it also heats. Well, more appropriately, it maintains a temperature. So we know that an ice bath is extremely cold. So what it uses is right here is the heating element and it heats the fluid up just a little bit so that it maintains whatever set temperature you request. So mind you, if you don't have a Peltier cooler and you don't have ice in the ice bath, this guy will not get cold. Not on its own anyway. Over here you can see, uh, let's see, our power comes in here. We have our RF filter or an, our EMI filter. And then it comes in up here. Uh, I don't know if I can show it. So the power comes in over there and it splits off, gets converted to DC. And you have these wonderful guys right here. Oh. I don't know if I can show it. You get giant relays that will control your pump. Down here you have a regular burkett style valve like you find on sterilizers. Very easy to maintenance and very inexpensive. So that's the question. If it's not very expensive, why do the PMs cost over a thousand dollars for this device? Hmm. Something for you guys to think about. So when you open this guy, this guy up to do a PM, there's gonna be dust absolutely everywhere. So you are gonna clean it out. And I still probably have some dust inside it. Over here on this side, you can see we have our power supply. Let's see if I can pull it out. All right, there we go. Now you can see what's going on. Okay, so we have some, some temperature controllers right there. You have our PLC, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. That's a programmable logic controller. We have relays and we have our fuses right there. We have our heater. We have our power switch, EMI filter heating element, um, very normal stuff. 
where it no longer becomes normal is up here. We have a logic, um, this is an industrial computer. This guy up here, which actually is the touch screen. And then that one comes down here and talks to your PLC. Your programmable logic controller has some simple uh, instruction sets. If this happens, then do this, which are mainly for running your pump, turning it on, and when to uh, turn on your heating element. That's basically what your PLC is gonna do. And one other secret about PLCs, if you wanna pull them off, they're on industrial rails. There's a, a little tab down here. Let's see. You just pull down on that little tab and this guy will rock off the rail and pull out. And I know because I've done it. Here you can see our temperatures. Currently at 18.2, 18.3. And this guy right here is, uh, let's see, can I get it? All right, so that guy right there with that weird little funky connector down at the bottom, that goes up here to the computer. Let's go ahead and boot this guy up from scratch so you can see what happens. Notice that the screen is inverted, but it corrects itself. It goes into some self checks. All right, it checks its heating and it checks its cooling temperature sensors and it's gonna check to make sure that the pump can run at various speeds and then it shows that you're good to go. Next thing you have to do is prime it. You can see your countdown up here in the corner. There's other things that you can set up in here. If you want to do a defrost for whatever reason. The reason this guy's in my shop is because it has a problem with the cooling sensor and it shows a red X when it starts up. Now your cooling sensor Remember, you have two temperature sensors on this guy. One is down here by the pump, and one of them's up here. So one of these guys is probably defective, because I've checked the lines that go up there to your, your temperature monitors. And look, your temperature monitors are, are showing good. And this is an intermittent problem. One of the other things that you can take a look at down here this guy right here is your drain line. So you drain your reservoir and it's got a quick connect. So what I'll normally do is I'll push on this with a screwdriver or if I have the adapter handy, I'll click it on. You drain it into a bucket and that's how you drain the reservoir and all the tubing because you don't want to open it up with any moisture in the tubing and that will cause one hell of a mess. Now problems that I've had on this guy before. I have had the cooling sensor go bad before, but uh, I've also had this guy right here, this PVC T. You can see it comes right off the pump head. This PVC T is Schedule 80 PVC, and in the one that I had, I replaced it with a Schedule 40 PVC because this is really low pressure, and to this day, it's working absolutely fine. So whether or not the guys at Cardio Equip care with what I did, it's my equipment, I don't care. It works just fine to this very day. So there are a few other things going on with this. None of them are very important. The most important thing for you guys to know is that your touch screen is an industrial computer and you can buy them on the secondary market, but it has very specific firmware in there. And I haven't exactly found a way to copy that yet. There is a way, but uh, these guys, Cardio Equip, they put a password on it. You naughty guys. Right here, you're a programmable logic controller. You can buy these guys on the open market. Uh, problem is, is Cardio Equip kind of has those locked down too, because normally you can connect to them and pull the software, but uh, it's all kind of locked down on these. Let's take a look in the reservoir. There's one other thing that everybody should be aware of. 
see those little filter screens down there? I have seen where those filter screens will start rusting really bad. So open your guy up, change your water out, check those filter screens and change them out. If there's, if there's any rust forming on the stainless steel mesh whatsoever, change them out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy in a run mode. And there you go. You can see I have it set at 18. It's currently heating the water that's circulating while the Peltier is constantly cooling as, as hard as it can. It's trying to cool the water. So this device is actually a heater, not a cooler. It heats the water based on you know an external device that cools it. I guess that's the best way to explain it. But that, my friends, that is a 1000M cardio equip. You just heard that relay kick off right there. Cool thing about these guys is if you want to see if it's working or not, you just use the paperclip test, just like you do with sterilizers. It's really not that complex of a device. So you have to wonder to yourself, why is it? Why is it that the PM on this guy is $1,000? I don't know, because in all honesty, I don't even see a thousand dollars worth of parts to build it. Anyway, guys, I know Cardio Clip will have their own disagreement with me, but I don't care. It's not that complex of a device. Get better pricing, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys like it. Just a little deep dive into uh, Cardio Clip and uh, what it is, because not a lot of people have taken the covers off. Most people just have the contractor come out and try and solve whatever's going on. See you in the next video.